What do you call a detective with a multimeter? Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> In electrical circuit, you may need to do your own investigation. Just remember, energy is never lost. It is turned to either motion or heat. In the case of a motor, well, electricity travels through the coils of the wires in the armature. This generates a magnetic field. These coils create a load on the motor as it spins. The windings also have resistance that can be measured in ohms. As we said before, resistance in a circuit changes some of the electrical energy into heat. The greater the resistance or load on a circuit, the more electrical energy that is transformed into heat. But heat never likes to stay put. The heat is not restricted to the load or other components with resistance. The heat can travel through wires and warm up the wires and even connectors. The connectors themselves can also be a source of resistance and generate heat. This is what causes a lot of electrical components to burn out on a vehicle. This is true for the blower motor and blower motor resistor circuits. As the blower motor begins to weaken or the casing becomes clogged with debris, they draw excessive amounts of electrical current. This excessive draw causes more current to flow through the circuit and the blower motor resistor. The heat eventually burns out the blower motor resistor and in many cases causes electrical connectors to melt. If the source of the excessive draw on the electrical connector isn't replaced, the likelihood of a repeat failure is very high. Blower motor resistors control the amount of electrical current flowing from the fan switch to the blower motor, which allows the motors to set various fan speeds. The fan speeds can be changed mechanically by rotating a knob which selects different electrical paths of resistance in the blower motor resistor or automatically by an HVAC control module. Due to technological advancement on today's automotive heating and cooling systems, blower motor resistors have a higher amount of current flowing through them and the connectors that can produce heat that can melt the connector and also the resistors inside. Worn OE blower motors can also create demand and also damage the resistor or modules with excessive current and melt the wiring and plastic shroud, damaging the interface pins on the control circuit board. For diagnostics, technicians should use an inductive amp clamp to check the blower motor current draw, which should be less than 80% of the fuse rating. If the current is too high, replace the blower motor or the new resistor, it's going to fail again. Also, the mating connector should also be inspected for signs of damage caused by excessive heat. The next time you diagnose a burned out blower motor resistor, Check the blower for excessive draw and also the connector for damage. Also take a look at the HVAC case drain to make sure it's not plugged and that water drains out properly. And always make sure you look at the cabin or filter and replace it too just in case. The clues are there to make your investigation a success.